Hi, it's me again with Laser Tips and Tricks, and this is about bamboo. I do not like bamboo, but I don't think it's going to go away. A lot of people like it because it's a renewable resource and uh, better for the every, the world. So I think we're going to be engraving it for a while. I, di I did a speed test. All the tests were run at 50 speed, 100 power on my 60 watt laser. This is one pass on focus. This is one pass, but an eighth inch out of focus up. This is one pass on focus. The second pass, which doesn't really make much difference. It is a little deeper. You can't see that in the picture. So it's basically two passes, but it's not really worth it. This is one pass, an eighth of an inch out of focus up. All four of those were done at 600 DPI. This one was on focus at 1200 DPI. So it looks as good as the eighth inch out of focus. This is one pass at 1200 DPI at an eighth inch up out of focus. The quarter inch still looks the best, but the problem with bamboo, it doesn't grave evenly. I mean, here you can see the lines and just a couple of sites. If you ever run any kind of wood at 1200 DPI and you have the, the ability to set your air assist on while you're rastering, it's not a bad idea because this will flame up just a little bit. I don't think it'll hurt the laser because the laser is moving back, so, back and forth. And if you do not under deep, understand the difference between 600 DPI and 1200 do, dots per inch, the laser is still running at 50 speed across air, but it's going uphill, laying more dots. So it takes more time. These took, uh, let me find my notes, two minutes and 35 seconds. This is pretty big. It's two inches tall. Two minutes and 35 seconds. This took four minutes and 56 seconds. So time-wise, this is the best, you know, to, if you value your time. Now, you could probably have gone really deep, and I didn't want to do it, but a quarter inch out of focus at 1,200 dots per inch. But if you're doing just a pin or a spoon, the time's not that important. But if you're doing a cutting board with quite a bit, and also keep in mind, this thing is one inch wide. So now this is two inches wide and this is one inch tall. This ran at a minute and 27 seconds at 600 dots per inch because it, the speed and the power, they're still the same, except for it's, it's going uphill faster because it's, it's, um, well, it's, it's not going uphill faster. It just doesn't have to go as far. So whenever you're engraving something like this and you can turn it, it's going to engrave faster. Now you can't always do that with everything, but if it was just a line of text that was going this way down the board, you wouldn't want to engrave it like that. You'd want to have the text going across. And this is just a good sample. And this isn't the best picture of how the bamboo darkens where the pieces of wood have been glued together. This is a line right here. You can't really see it in the picture. So this piece of bamboo engraved differently than the center engraving. The same thing with, you can actually see the lines of the grains of the wood that away. Anyway, so quarter inch, probably be your best bet. Um, I do most of my stuff with two passes. I want to see what it looks like. And then I'll run the second pass an eighth of an inch out of focus. And uh, it always comes out pretty good. It's, it's, it's like uh, engraving on oak. Oak and bamboo are not really made, well, they're not good for engraving. Where a maple or a walnut or alder engraves equally and evenly across the board. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.